we've created a ride simulator to help you figure out the timing and layout of your attraction. So I'll give you an overview of how you can use it to create and test your own ride layout. Here's the station. This is the load area where you leave the station, and this is the unload area where you enter the station. You'd use these buttons to lay down sections of the track. You can also remove the last track section by clicking here. You complete the layout by closing the loop, running the track back to the loading station. You can also use this button to place the scenes in your story. When the ride vehicle enters the pink section that's associated with a number, that triggers that scene to start playing out. If you need more or less time for your scene to play out, select the scene and use this slider to adjust its runtime. Here's how much track you've laid down. We also estimate the total runtime of the attraction. Now, let's simulate the ride by going to the Run tab. You can adjust the dispatch interval, the capacity of each vehicle, and the playback speed using these sliders. We can start the simulation using this green play button. This countdown clock shows when the next ride vehicle will leave the station. Let's see what happens if we speed up the playback a bit. Increasing the scene time causes vehicles to slow down and decreasing the scene time causes them to speed up. If two vehicles are experiencing a scene at the same time, the pink region turns red to warn you of that. That happens when the dispatch interval is faster than the longest scene time. Finally, the current capacity is shown here. In this exercise, your goal is to lay out your track within the perimeter of the ride building, but you also need to make sure that 2,000 people can experience the ride per hour while avoiding having more than one vehicle in a scene at any time. You should also make sure that your runtime is over two minutes. Good luck with laying out your attraction.